So we did a fantasy draft, not for uh, the main league here, but for a buddy of ours' league. Yeah, Troy's league. Uh, well, my, it's not really his, it's his oh, friend's league. Well, okay. Yeah. He's the one in charge. He's the commission. It's the, it's the kids' league. <laughs> Um, considering I got my ass kicked in this league last year, I'm not. I'm not I'm saying not gonna, kids aren't smarter than me. Trust I'm not me. gonna <laughs> knock them because I got. Fit. I'm not knocking them. I mean, you know, whatever. I finished the regular um, season eighth and got fit. Well, you did better than me. Um. Anyway, we just so, did the draft. We thought we'd talk a little bit about how our drafts, how went, our draft went for this uh, league, how we feel about some of the picks we made. Um, I had these going into our league's draft here. My league. He's a member of. Yeah. This Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. 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 <laughs> we watch way too much. Wrestling. We sit in front of a computer and draft NFL players we've never met for three hours, including individual defensive players. Yeah, we do individual defensive players on this one. So, That's right. Uh, you better know your Jared Allen. That's right. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm ashamed that I forgot about Lance Briggs. Oh, he's so good. Oh. Um, <laughs> and Tavon Branch. That's right. Number one pick. All right, um, so I had the sixth overall pick in this draft. Uh, uh, EJ here had the seventh. Um, my, my, my strategy, and, and I suspect yours as well uh, to a certain extent, anyway, I'm, well, I'm not sure, um, is that if, if I'm high enough to get a, like, a really awesome running back, then I'll, I'll go that direction. Uh, if not, then I'll take the best quarterback I can find. That's exactly um, my strategy. I'm actually low on uh, – I don't rank running backs as high as – they're Most touted. People. Yeah. And here's why. I've won my last two leagues in my own league. I've won that league because I had Peyton Manning in 08 and Drew Brees in 09. So, Although, to be fair, you did have MJD last year. Didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. I don't even remember. You had, but you had Jones either way, last year. Either way, it wasn't like he had like the best season ever. He was on a losing team. He had a good season, though. Uh, um, anyway. I, I in this draft, as it turned out, I ended up going with uh, two running backs first, which is, I guess, a, a, a pretty popular strategy. It's pretty common. Um, I think I'll I'll do different things in uh, in our league on Sunday. Did um, we mention it's Sunday? Yes. Uh, but with my first overall pick, since I, I had number six, and um, somebody uh, who did something stupid, somebody did something stupid. It was probably CMF. He did stupid stuff throughout the draft. <laughs> Uh, I was at a round table of drafters. Oh, uh, um, so, the, the, uh, the, we were just mocking CMF pretty much the whole time. Yeah, um, the, interestingly enough, the first overall pick was MJD, um, and not Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson was number two, which I thought was very interesting. Um, the fifth overall pick was D'Angelo Williams. Um, I think he's going to be great. I don't think that's a bad pick at all. Hey, I'm not, I'm you, not knocking it, especially because it made it. it, it <laughs> allowed me to get Michael Turner. If, if um, you subscribe to the running backs are the king of the leagues, you know, then yeah, take D'Angelo Williams. But yeah, maybe not as high as, you know, over Michael Turner. Right. I got I got Michael Turner, which was nice. Um, and then you made your first. I pick. said, you know what, the best running backs are gone. I don't need to go with a uh, iffy elite running Rashard back. Rashard Mendenhall. Ooh, no thanks. <laughs> I went with Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers is poised to have one of the best seasons ever at quarterback. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Packers fan. I'm saying that because no, they have man. all the weapons in place in a division that might allow them to succeed more than other quarterbacks would. If nobody else has picked a quarterback yet and you want a quarterback, then it's, it's there's no If comparison. you want the best quarterback, I would take Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Peyton Manning's a sure thing. As a breeze is probably, probably have a good year again. But I, I would take um, Rodgers this year over those two. Yes, I, I would take I would take Rodgers and Manning over Breeze. I think, but I take I well, take I had Rod- Breeze last year. I take Rodgers over Manning. As a Breeze owner, there are some games, and the Saints showed it last year, where they just didn't show up. Yeah, and you were waiting until the fourth quarter before Breeze threw his first touchdown pass. Yeah. Um, uh, at number nineteen, which was my next pick, uh, Ryan Matthews was still available. That's pretty uh, low, but I think a lot of the people in our league. Are not sure, and I'm not rest. sure about him either. This frankly. is actually a very veteran league. Uh, a lot of the owners in this league have been in it for all four years now. So, yeah. uh, you know, pretty savvy. Aside from CMF, who was not savvy at all, uh, you know, pretty savvy draftees. Or uh, the here. one person who phoned in everything. Uh, oh, the one, the, <laughs> the auto draft person yeah, that didn't yeah. show up for the draft. Well, that's not their fault. The the computer picked for them. So. Yeah. 
Um, but Good luck with that one. I decided to go with Ryan Matthews as my second pick. I, you know, he's gonna he's gonna be taken over at running back for the Chargers, and um, I think he's a steal North, at number nineteen. Yeah, certainly. And since he was there, I shit, I'll, you know. And from all reports so far from uh, training camp and, pre- and the preseason, he's a uh, he's living up to the hype so far. Although I hear he's having some trouble catching passes. But that's not really what he's. That's going to be a problem because Nord uh, Turner likes to throw. Oh, no, that's true. Eighteen hundred times a game. Yeah. Anyway, then you went with your second. Oh, you actually had your second pick before mine, right? Because of the because of the way it works and uh, serpentine draft rules. You went with Sean Green, which I thought was really good. I, uh, I thought you that was like a really that good pick. pick. I'm still um, nervous about it, to be honest. But the, the Jets are going to be dedicated to the run because that's the type of offense Rex Ryan likes to run. And I think Sean Green will step into those shoes admirably. I don't know if he'll be an elite running back. Because he really didn't show me anything last year that made me say this guy's for sure. He, he, he be stepped the up pick, during the but, playoffs, but that doesn't really mean anything. Well, um, he was also given the job a couple of weeks during the regular season last year and didn't do anything worth talking about. Yeah, and that was with Leon Washington out of his way too. That's true. Uh, um, but you know, I think but it's he, really good. Thomas Jones I isn't there anymore, and I don't him think 18th, I, think I don't was think good. LT is gonna gonna cut too much into his value. Right. So. And just for the record, this is a standard 12-team league. So. Yes, 12 teams. Um, our standard uh, Sunday's league. league is actually 16 teams. That's right, with divisions. With two, this one has divisions, too, That's but right. we have four. And a hand-built <laughs> schedule. <laughs> Took me ten minutes. <laughs> You're dedicated, sir. Oh, man. Um, Val- valuable work time spent on building the schedule. Uh, I, you know, um, but at this point, when my third pick came up at number 30... Um, the elite quarterbacks were gone. Um, Rodgers was gone. Um, you know, Manning, Breeze, Philip Rivers, uh, Philip Rivers, you know, Tony Romo. Although I wouldn't have picked him anyway. Um, <laughs> Brett Favre was not taken. No, just, uh, <laughs> I knew that would derail your train of thought. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Apparently, anyway, he's coming who, back. Who, who knew? Think? Who did you take at number 30? At number 30, I took Brandon Marshall, Good sir. Good pick. Brandon Marshall. I, I, since I could get an elite wide receiver and not an elite quarterback, I took an elite wide receiver. Um, I knew that some some of the okay quarterbacks would still be left over. Um, I, I had kind of a sense of who I would end up getting in that position. Well, but, you know. One thing you got to remember um, with quarterbacks is there's three or four that are awesome, and then there's like 12 the rest, that are yeah. in the middle. Right. And as long as you're not drafting, you know, Mark Bulger to be your starter, yeah. or you know, taking a huge risk on Matt Leinart, then you know, as long as you get somebody in that pack of twelve, there, you're fine. Yeah, Marshall. I feel like Brandon Marshall is is you know has really got something to prove. He's with his new team with Miami, and at, I think Chad Henney uh, at quarterback is great for the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, Ronnie Brown could be throwing Brandon Marshall passes in the Wildcats. You so never know. I think it's a really good pick. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you then selected your next running back immediately after that, and uh, I like your pick with Beanie Took Wells. Beanie I Wells. Think. I think Beanie Wells is poised to have a bigger season than Sean Green is. I know I'm really high on Beanie, we- Beanie Wells, and I'm not really sure why, uh, to be honest, but I think the Cardinals will have to commit more to the run, and they I think will has, Ken Wisenhunt is willing to do that, I think. Uh, so I think Beanie Wells has a huge opportunity, especially since Tim Hightower last year was really a disappointment, as far as I'm concerned. So I think yeah, Wells is going to be certainly. allowed to carry the load. On a team that's going to need him to take some pressure off Matt Leinart. My only, my and only issue. My I want to throw this in. Okay, go ahead. Larry Fitzgerald was hurt this week. Yeah, I heard. So Wells heard. is going to have to be even bigger uh, a factor on their offense. Um, my only issue with with Wells is that I think that they might, I think they might go with High Tower for goal lines. Um, you know, yeah, which, unfortunately, which, which might cut down on Wells' touchdowns, but it's still a good pick. Um, Let's see. Uh, then, you, then uh, at forty-two, your fourth pick, you selected Greg Jennings. Um, I can't believe we let you get Greg Jennings when you already had Rogers. <laughs> that could be a problem, though, in fantasy sports. It yeah. could be a problem having the wide receiver quarterback combo because if things aren't clicking, that's two people who aren't working right. That's true. That's so, true. You know, but yeah, uh, but the Packers are poised solid. to have a big year, and I think yeah. between him and Donald Driver, I think Jennings will finally peak ahead of Driver this season. 
Um, and so, uh, I think it's a good pick. And when you go with your home team, I go with my home team. Directly after you pick Jennings, I pick Jay Cutler because once again, Cutler is my starting QB. He is part of that twelve pack of <sighs> mid pack quarterbacks. So. Please be better under Mike Martz, please. Anyway, we'll be back. <laughs> 